Well, the Detroit police chief is weighing in tonight on the case of the mom who pulled out an assault rifle to fight back against home invaders. Did she do the right thing? We first showed you the stunning video of this drama last night at 11 o'clock. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shakehead is following up at Detroit Police Headquarters for us. Simon, what'd you find out? Carolyn and Stephen, Detroit's chief of police is applauding what this mother did and also the excellent work of his own officers. This surveillance video of three teenage thugs shows what can happen when burglars pick the wrong victim to mess with. As we first showed you last night on Action News at 11, the teens tear down the back door only to discover mom is on the other side, locked and loaded. I let them know I had a gun once they was in the house and they uh, challenged me and said I don't have a gun. So that's when I shot off the first round. Now this video has gone viral. Her husband, thankful he gave his wife this assault rifle just two weeks ago after a different break-in attempt. If I haven't prepared my wife for this kind of situation, I could have came home to a family that was gone. So what do police think about this mom defending her home and her two small kids in this way? The chief of police says she did the right thing. She certainly protected herself, her young children that were upstairs in the residence. She did nothing at all wrong. Even after the victim advised the suspects that she was armed, uh, there was an aggressive attempt to continue uh, to enter into her residence. What happened Monday night on Woodrow Wilson included one of three teens dropping what we now know to be a fake gun. Nonetheless, it was no joke to mom. Or the cops that quickly arrested these guys. The relentless follow up, a sense of urgency by our officers, sign of number 10, certainly is, which is consistent today in what we see in the Detroit Police Department. Uh, phenomenal police work. Two of the teens are in custody facing charges and have a history of trouble with the law. One even has a prior gun related arrest. The third is out on bond. Don't forget, this is also a big victory for the neighborhood, considering these teens have been causing problems there for quite a while. Live downtown, Simon Shakehead, 7 Action News. Simon, good thing they're off the streets. Thank you so much.